several years ago, a ceramic tile muralist was commissioned to put together a series of scenes depicting buildings and events that took place in the city of Benicia. Those ceramic tiles were placed in the sidewalks on First Street, and I've uh, endeavored to take a little stroll through the past. Please enjoy. This is Captain Walsh's house, one of the original prefabs built in the East Coast, right around the Horn, we assembled here in Venetia. Sonia, Francisca, Maria, Felipe, Venetia, de Vallejo, my son, Mariano Vallejo, after whom Venetia is named. The Solano a ferry that transported cars and people from Venetia to Contra Costa County. The Bella Union Saloon, underground establishment. Uh, they used to run beer from the brewery and tunnels. This is the site of the old fire station. Just to commemorate that. Volunteers and that sort of thing. This commemorates the state capitol building. Donated by Roger Heim, a colleague of mine. <coughs> and of course, the capitol building itself. state capital in the mid 1800s for about a year or so so it moved to Sacramento. Robert Semple, Thomas O'Larkin, original developers of Venetia, subdivided the land, sold it back east, they had a vision of what this city might be. Of course, Jennifer, one Catholic Church, St. Dominic's. writer Jack London, wrote several books here in Venetia, in his old haunt, the old Lido Club. And the Community Congregational Church. There's the Community Congregational Church, located on West J Street. Currently an artist studio. This is the Pacific Mail. There are the Solano. Very tri trains across the strait before the Venetia Bridge was built. Famous guardhouse in the Venetia Arsenal, home to Ulysses S. Grant at one point when he was caught in a drunken state and uh, with a wife of an officer, or so the rumor goes. This tile depicts the Corbett Chomsky fight, gentleman Jim Corbett. Fought a 15 round brawl on a barge in Southampton Bay, or what is now Southampton Bay. Uh, an epic battle. Young Lady of Seminary, one of the first seminaries of its kind on the West Coast. Venetia was truly a city of firsts. There's tiles in front of our own Coldwell Banker office, donated by Richard Bortolazzo. This depicts the Venetia Collegiate Institute. Um, Again, the city of Venetia was considered the Athens of the West. Sister Dominica of Arguello Concepcion. This is a love story that spanned two cultures. Russians that came to visit, the Spanish that were here, uh, and a love unrequited. This, of course, depicts St. Paul's Episcopal Church, first Episcopal Church on the West Coast. the building itself. Still stands. Venetia Boy, donated by International Technology. Prize fighter back in the day. This monument is in front of our Veterans Hall. There's tiles depicting World War One, World War Two. Korean War, the war in Vietnam. That hall has recently been remodeled, and we're getting ready for our, the grand opening in the near future. Child, 
commemorates the Commandant's house. This is the West Coast Arsenal for the United States government. This is where the Commandant of the Post lived. The first Masonic Temple on the West Coast is here in Benicia. This depicts that. And here's the Masonic Temple itself, still standing, maintained by the Masonic Order. Benicia Barracks, again an industrial park now. There's the home for soldiers when Arsenal was here. This is a set of tiles. I will cherish our past and embrace our future. That should sum up our tour of Venetia's history today. Thanks for watching.